Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time being here, you are very welcome and please do the right thing. Hit on that subscribe button and tap on that notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every single day, each and every single time when I post a new video. So today I just decided to come and show you guys my makeup routine, what I basically do every day except that today I had to try and do a little bit of shadow, you know what I'm saying? I don't always wear eyeshadow when I go out, but today I just decided, why not try? So hey again people, as you can see I have already done my eyebrows. If you need to know how I do my eyebrows, I can do a separate video about that. But, um, what am I saying? <laughs> okay, yeah, I was prepping my eyelids so that I can start to put the eyeshadow. So I'm starting with the color black. Oh my god, it's so pigmented, it's so pigmented. Yes, I'm putting the color black all over um, the top part of my eyelid, but not close to my eyebrows, not close to my eyebrows. I've watched someone doing this. This is my first time to do this. As you can see, I'm just scared. So now I'm putting the red slightly on top of the black um, eyeshadow that I have put. Slightly. As you can see, I'm being gentle because this is my first time, guys. I don't know how to do this. To all those makeup artists like the gurus who are gonna watch my video, leave your comments below. Tell a girl how to do these things because, man, I'm just trying out here. All right, if you're wondering why I have those white, those white um, spots all over my face, I was covering the dark uh, marks on my face using a concealer. Uh, it's very helpful if you've got dark spots on your face you can just put your concealer and then put your foundation on top so anyways as you can see I am blending I'm trying to blend man blending is a hustle blending is a hustle but when it comes to eyeshadow I think the trick part is blending and I'm done this is how it looks I'm not mad at all like for a first timer I think this is almost perfect I can say this is perfect actually and I think I look cute alright so this is where the problem came <laughs> I was trying to do a cut crease y'all but damn what you doing <laughs> what I can just tell you guys is just wait for the end because the end is gonna be way better than the process I promise you I promise you how do people do this cut crease things when I was struggling as you all can see don't mind the, the, the serious face I didn't know what I was doing I was just trying but yeah we seem to be getting it we seem to be getting it we seem to be getting it but it's difficult it's really difficult I think I'm gonna have to try like 10 more times to be able to get it right but I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I'm not mad at all. Okay, so all the eyes are done now, and I'm just putting a little bit of the eyeshadow, the red one, under my eyes. And now I'm doing the whole mascara thing. Yeah. I'm just doing the whole mascara thing before I put my eyelashes, which is another hustle when it comes to makeup. Everyone struggles with putting eyelashes on that's why i didn't record the process because it takes <laughs> it takes a lot of crying all right so now i'm using the black opal what shade is this i'm sorry guys i didn't show you um the products i was using i'll try to link them in the description box below but this is black opal i think it's shade nutmeg and I just put it all over my face on top of the white concealer that I put and I'm using the MAC Fix Plus to just make my face a little bit wet because the stick is a bit thick so at times when it comes to blending it's difficult something is happening <laughs> I told you all lashes are a hassle but yeah you have to make sure you blend your whole foundation and the concealer together to get a full coverage of your face of your face 
Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Man, look at that eyelash. It's about to leave my face like this instant. It's about to leave my face this instant. It's like I didn't see it. I only saw it when I was recording. But anyway, go on with the blending girl. Yes, I saw it. Haha. <laughs> and it's fixed. Voila. So now we go on to the concealer business. I think I was using the Pro, the LA, LA Girl Pro Concealer, but the shade I don't remember. I don't remember the shade. So I'm just putting that under my eyes. As y'all can see. Try to be gentle. Try by honest to be gentle. You know people do these things differently. I'm just doing according to what I always do since this is my everyday makeup. Going to church or the work, something like that. And then put it under my chin. Not under my chin, or on my chin. Whatever. And on my forehead. Yes, because we need that forehead to show, girl. We need it to be popping. The way it looks so perfect right now, I wish like in the coming years people would just be walking with their concealers right there. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, I'm just being silly. I'm just being silly. I'm just being silly. But yeah, I'm trying to make sure that I frame my face the way I want it to look. This is almost like, okay, I don't want to say creating, but I'm making myself. I want to frame myself or my face the way I want it to show and lose all those pounds from my face to make it look <laughs> snatched okay so now we are doing the blending as you can see I always want to use a brush as compared to um... okay I just forgot the name the blender is compared to the blender i prefer using the brush more than the blender i don't know why it's just my own preference i think i get more coverage when i do that as compared to when i use the blender i feel like the blender will take some of the product away from your face so that's what i'm just doing make sure that the concealer is blended perfectly on the right places <laughs> Yeah, well, I look like I'm just coming from the symmetry, but I didn't forget my blender as well. To make sure I remove all those seams, make it look smooth. smooth. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just doing that gently all over the face. I put the concealer like gently. Yeah, and make sure that when you use your blender, it's a wet blender. Just put some water in it, or you can put the makeup fix plus or whatever that you want to use but make sure that it's a bit damp when you use it so that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing i'm not mad at all like i'm not mad at how it's coming i'm not mad do you know the problem with these makeup tutorials is when you're not recording you get the best makeup but when you now sit down to say, let me record this and I'm trying to make a video, it always doesn't come out the way you want. But anyway, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. I don't know why I'm still doing that. And guys, don't, don't, don't come to me about my blender. It's brown. That's the natural color of that blender. It's a brown blender. In case you hadn't seen they're brown blenders as well so yes it's a brown blender thank you very much it wasn't white it has always been brown <laughs> i don't know why i'm overemphasizing it but yeah i mean it i got it from um what do you call it i got it from miniso china it's a japanese shop make sure that it's damp make sure that it's got some water on it so you can either choose like just water or the fix plus again you can spray it on your blender so now as you can see i have the darkest shade i had 
well, the darkest shade I have of the concealer. I think it's color. Okay, let me not lie. Let me just leave all this information in the description box below. But it's the darkest shade, and I'm putting it on my cheekbone because we're about to get snatched for the gods. Yes, so put on all my forehead as you can see girl who this who this okay yeah so i put it on the parameters of my head i don't know if that's right and put some on the nose because that nose has to go it has to go yeah, it has to go okay and a little bit on the side as you can see I think all this is so self explanatory I don't need to say it much because when you see it you will know it and you can believe it <laughs> yes 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 put that concealer on mommy put it on so now the trick with all this um, contouring is the blending part uh oh that was a lot you just have to make sure that you blend out to remove the seams it doesn't have to be so obvious that okay she did the contouring and highlighting it has to look somehow perfect so that's what i was trying to do that's what i always try to do every day i might fail but at least i try so yeah i'm just dabbing dabbing on my face on where I put the the dark the dark concealer and a little bit on my neck just after my bone as you can see so yeah it's almost done but as you can see again it's not well blended so I'm trying by all means to remove the seams between the lighter concealer and all that but I managed after some minutes to finish it off and now I'm using the Beignet Banana Powder to set the parts that I have highlighted. So I'm using the same brush I was using to blend out the concealer on my face. And what I do with my setting powder is... I make sure that it sinks in the skin a lot of people they put a lot and then after some time they brush it off but I don't do that because I want to get as much coverage as possible so that is the trick guys if you want your makeup to look seamless try to dab the uh, to dab the powder into your skin other than to remove it after that's the trick that I have seen works for me it might work for you too in case you're struggling with the whole my lighting and stuff and I'll put some on my forehead as you can see yeah I make sure that it gets into my skin like directly into my skin I don't want to waste any product excuse me yeah I add a little bit because I thought I was having a little bit of creases so I wanted to remove that oh girl that is a lot <laughs> That is a lot. But where is it now? It's all gone. Where did it go to? Into the skin. That is where the trick is. And now I'm looking a little bit polished. Yes, I'm liking it now. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Okay, so now I'm using the dark, um, the dark powder. I forgot the name of this part. I got it one of those Chinese uh, drugstores, and I'm using that to highlight. Not to highlight. I'm using that to contour. Yes, to contour my cheekbones and my nose. And I'm gonna put some on my forehead again. So this is to make sure that the framing I've done on my face is so prominent, like how we want to look. Yeah. So again, you need to blend it out. You need to make it look seamless. It doesn't have to be obvious. Yes, we know we have done contouring, but it shouldn't be that obvious. I thought I was a bit cakey, so I'm just running that brush all over my face. 
and I think I'm done. What do you all think? I think I'm done. This is what I do every day. This is me every day. This is me every day, and I'm using the NYX setting spray, the Maid setting spray. Just spray it all over my face, guys. In case you want your makeup to look okay, in case you wonder how people do it, they make use of the setting spray. You should get it, you should own it. So, as it's drying on my face, I decided to start um, working on this Jusen, the Jusen lips. So I'm using a brown liner, it is actually a lip liner, I bought it in a local beauty store again, so I'm just lining my lips, ooh, I'm plumbing my lips rather, <laughs> whew, yes, don't mind me, but anywho, that's what I'm just doing, I didn't want to do much, but I ended up doing a lot, and I'm not complaining y'all, I'm liking it, I'm like, I love this whole look. Well, I wish I could look like this every day, <laughs> even though I told this my everyday look. But, anywho, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, MAC lipstick color. I have forgotten, again, as usual, but it's a bit lighter than my... Mm, than my lip liner so I just put it inside to get that ombre effect on the lips I didn't want a lot or I didn't want the ombre to be so obvious I wanted a dark thing and a little bit of ombre so yes it worked perfectly and then now as you can see I'm just um, I'm just making it look perfect perfect is the word like when it comes to makeup there is no better word than perfect actually when it comes to my dictionary there is no better word than perfect so in case you wanted to look mm, perfect <laughs> like how mine look make use of a small brush to just blend it out yes it's allowed you can blend out and this was me feeling myself y'all a moment for those lashes and how dramatic they are so the whole look will come to life after we do the highlighting don't tell me you don't see it already as soon as i started to put that highlight on the tip of my nose you all saw what was happening you all saw the transitioning is that the word yeah i think so but anywho the transitioning whatever transitioning transitioning but i'm just putting some of the highlighter on my cheekbones I don't really put, uh, what do you call this? Um, I forgot, but I only put highlighter on my cheeks. There's nothing else that I put. Just the highlighter works perfect for me because I don't want it to be so dramatic. But yeah, some on my chin, a little bit on my forehand. Girl, I'm diving in this highlighter all in yes a little bit on my forehead and I think after doing this this is the whole look this is how I want to look every day this is how I want to go out every day yeah I'm liking it I'm loving it I'm loving it so yeah guys the video is almost coming to an end oh no i haven't removed my bonnet yet <laughs> wait for it i let me see girl can you just finish already look at her she's feeling herself mm, i love her and then now voila and the hair so this is called one curl to anyone who's wondering it's one curl it's crochet hair i did it myself i'm gonna do a video again whilst i'm showing you guys how to achieve this look but it's for now bye guys enjoy your day stay positive do what you love and love what you do i'm off to church 
see you guys. Happy Sabbath. Bye.